Hey guys, what's up? It's Emergency and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Quick question. When did it become a thing for like high schoolers to be doing like the most in TV shows? <laughs> because I've been noticing this happen more and more and I've been watching a lot of shows. Like you know what we do on this channel. We talk about TV and movies sometimes. Preface for this video, I do not mean to sound like a prude. I don't mean to be like, we need to protect our children from any kind of sexual anything, abstinence. Like no, that's not me. That's not who I am. <laughs> I just think that the portrayal and the frequency of mature topics being addressed in high school drama shows. Very interesting because it really does seem that Hollywood or like any form of media network is making these shows has a real fascination, a fixation if you will, on the lives of high schoolers and telling the stories of high schoolers in excruciating detail that maybe we didn't always ask for. So we're gonna get into it today. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, then definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications for more content like this in the future. We are on the road to 100k and I feel like it would personally feel better to be able to say that you were here before we had 100k you know just that little bit of clout but you know that's neither here nor there if you're also feeling a little antsy you can hit that like button and follow me on my social media at emergency i'm on tiktok instagram twitter the whole thing but let's talk about this because it's kind of important <laughs> so of course high school drama shows have been a thing for pretty much forever i think it was really popularized and glamorized in the 90s with the rise of shows like degrassi zoe 101 i'm about to show you how uninformed i am with the 90s because why was the next show i was about to say victorious so many things wrong with that Basically, moral of the story, there are a lot of high school dramas. And typically, a lot of these, minus Victorious, did have some pretty mature topics at times. Like, for example, in Degrassi, like, we all know what happened to Drake. <laughs> or if we don't, well... Pew pew. But just like in terms of like overall sexuality, I feel like this was something that happened a little bit more recently. They don't really go into as much detail as shows like Euphoria or like Gossip Girl, the reboot, or Elite, for example, where some really deep and dark topics are definitely fully explored. We get to see like a real depiction of like high schoolers' lives as they are and not like the Disneyfication version of it. <laughs> and over time, I feel like this more mature version of like high school dramas became very, very, very popular to the point where it's pretty much mainstream now. And this kind of leads me to my first question of like, why does this happen? For one, because it works well. It sells very, very well. But not only that, shows based in high school with very mature themes seem to be really relatable because most, if not all people have gone to or will be going to high school. And it's just one of those rites of passage experiences that like everyone goes through. So it's not like anyone feels like left out. And it's typically when people allegedly come of age and there's a lot of turmoil, change. Your body is changing, your feelings are changing, your emotions are changing, your friends are changing like everything is in like this state of change where you're like growing up into the person who you're allegedly supposed to be even though that's not necessarily the truth because who's a fully fledged human being at 18 years old <laughs> i definitely was not high school is also like that weird time where like the most petty stuff happens and can kind of fly whereas in a more mature setting that really doesn't make as much sense or like hold up as much so i feel like it's another like reason why high school dramas are so popular and why they exist because they can just generally get away with a lot more than let's say a show based based in college or like post education life really would because they're blamed as just being like dumb kids as opposed to like dumb adults, which has like a different connotation entirely. <laughs> so they're able to do all these super extreme over the top things, have these really unrealistic or unhealthy reactions just for the sake of being like, oh, just those hormones, you know, what can you do? You can basically chalk all of the drama up to just like being a teen as opposed to like being an adult. Because again, that might be a little weird. Like the rest of the stuff that goes on in high school shows isn't weird because they're high schoolers, but I digress. And I kind of mentioned this before, but we really see this really edgy, over the top, over sexualized version of like high schools in shows like Euphoria, Gossip Girl, Elite, Riverdale, Sex Education, Ginny and Georgia, and the list goes on. I feel like a new high school drama pops up on Netflix at least like twice a year. So we can really see what's going on here. Usually these shows feel like a really mature, edgy version of high school or like the complete opposite where it's like super like yesified. <laughs> <laughs> in the sense that like as opposed to like a super mature plot everyone's like super immature really dramatic over the top unrealistic reactions like basically think here like Jenny and Georgia like super over dramatic for what reason <laughs> now that we have that framework let's kind of talk about why this kind of portrayal of, like high schoolers is kind of problematic well for one first and foremost it's quite literally like sexualizing minors like I know like the actors are not actually minors but like the concept is like the characters like if they're in the show they're likely between the ages of 15 or like 18. Regardless, it's just 
pretty weird. And again, I'm not here to say like these things are unrealistic. Like, of course, it's common knowledge that like teenagers aren't abstinent. Like, that's not what's going on here. Like, that's expected to occur during like those ages and into college of just like exploring yourself and I guess others. But it gets to a certain point in a lot of shows where like they overshare. Like, we get that it happens. We understand that it happens. We've all been to high school again, collective experience. But do we need to know explicit detail? Like, do we need to see everything? You know, like, I feel like there are some things that just go a little bit over the top. Like, as much as I love you, Euphoria. I love Euphoria down. But do we really need to see all that every episode to get the point of like what's going on? I don't think so. Like even Sydney Sweeney, who's like an actor on the show, has said in like a recent interview or whatever that with this latest season there was like a lot of over the top like nudity scenes specifically for her. And even she was like, all right, maybe like we don't need all this to convey the point. <laughs> and while of course Euphoria is like a very extreme case of this, it's pretty common with like other shows as well. Like I feel like nowadays with these teen dramas, I feel like they rely a little bit too much on the shock factor of it all and are taking like the whole like show don't tell thing a little bit too seriously like you can show without showing you know like we can elude we don't need to see everything every single time in this specific setting and i just want to remind y'all like i'll say it again like i believe in sex positivity but i believe that if you want to go that route and really want to like sexualize your characters i guess why not age them up into college you know <laughs> because my thing is college shows are not that different from high school shows and i feel like that's because college while it has differences from high school it kind of is the same it kind of is very similar, especially that freshman year of college. And I kind of feel like that's the perfect alternative because it kind of addresses the same things and has like the same set of topics that like a high school show would address, but ages them up where it's not weird. <laughs> like for example, you're still very much coming of age in your freshman year of college, even more so I feel like than you would be in high school just because you're in a completely new environment, you have a completely new friends, you're free to do whatever you want, which means you can get into whatever mess you want. There's like roommate drama, there's like a whole bunch of new access to like substances and a whole world of stuff that you weren't really exposed to or were permitted to be exposed to in like your high school life. Like I just feel like it's really giving a similar thing, but like maybe even like a little bit more than like a typical high school drama, you know? And you can get into like much deeper themes if you want to go like the whole dark route because it makes more sense to actually do that with adults because it actually makes more sense to do that with college students you know because college can get real dark it can get real dark i can tell you just from experience i'm about to graduate in a couple months college can get real dark and i feel like the beauty of seeing that on screen is that a lot of times characters have to pull themselves out of it or like have like someone around them to pull them out of it as opposed to like relying on whatever it is in high school dramas that somehow gets them out of their debacles <laughs> and i feel like a great example of like a college show that does this correctly is the sex lives of college girls i've talked about this show a little bit before in past videos but I feel like this is one of the best college shows or specifically like college dramas to do it in recent time just because I feel like it's given everything it needs to it has the drama it has some really dark topics while also being like relatable and funny and all the things that you want like a really good show like highly recommend watching sex love college girls like if you haven't seen it already it's on HBO like watch it do it do it and while I say all this about college and stuff I also understand why this might not be a great idea or like why this hasn't been picked up in the mainstream because when we're talking about relatability college objectively just is not as relatable as like the high school experience because not everybody goes to college in the way that everyone pretty much goes to high school. Like it's just simply one of those things that not everyone can relate to, which does sort of cut like the general applicability and draw of like these high school dramas. It also kind of loses that form of like nostalgia that you get from like watching a high school drama show. Because like again, when you were in high school or if you're planning on being in high school soon, like there's like some nostalgia with that or like some expectation of it because I feel like high school is like one of those things that's like hyped up so much and so many people peak, fall, and have so many traumatic instances in high school school that like for better or worse it has like a permanent place in your mind <laughs> and I feel like that's just like not the same for like college or at least not in the same way and I also kind of understand why you might not want to have like a college show because I guess that would inadvertently be promoting the scam that is the modern college education system but get your degree though get your degree <laughs> that's kind of a scam but overall, we can kind of see like where this whole like over sexualization of like high school dramas and like high schoolers in Hollywood sort of came from, where it's been, and why it's problematic and probably also is not really going anywhere. There are pros and cons to having these high school dramas be this way as well as to like a possible alternative college version of a lot of these shows. But I really just do not anticipate things changing anytime soon, unfortunately. Although I do want some more college shows, like please. 
please, if any executive or like writer in any form of TV is watching this video for whatever reason, like please give us some more shows based in college. Like I promise you, I'll need it. I'm about to graduate and I need like nostalgia for something. So like, please. But that's gonna be it for this video, y'all. Let me know your thoughts on anything that I said down in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Again, if you are new to the channel, then hit that subscribe button before we hit 100K and turn on my post notifications so that you never miss when I post. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and follow me on my socials here at Emergency for more content from me. But other than that, y'all, thank you so, so much for watching. I've been Emergency and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.